Using a combination of nanotechnology and basic chemistry, Sandia National Labs researchers have synthesized and self-assembled gold nanoparticles into large millimeter-sized supercrystals that could significantly improve sensor performance. For example, increased sensitivity would improve security in airports and other public places. By using an economical process called binary solvent diffusion, supercrystals can be synthesized with tunable properties that are unattainable with current methods. So we develop binary solvent diffusion approach to fabricate the nanoparticle supercrystals. Essentially, we start with a glass tube. On the bottom, we put gold nanoparticle. In this case, gold is example. We put gold nanoparticle in toluene solvent, and then on the top, we put isopropanol solvents, and then leave in the ambient condition. The diffusion between the two solvents start immediately, and the isopropanol diffuses into toluene to make the gold particle solution supersaturated and make the supercrystal formation occur. So these super crystals look like exactly like this. They are faceted and the nanoparticle packing on each facet are different. So they bring different chemical and physical properties, quite unique and different from current thin films. And for example, we demonstrate that when we use this for surface enhanced Raman sensors, they show nine times enhancement than the thin films. So nanomaterials offer properties, uh, electrical, optical, magnetic, that are not observed in their bulk counterparts. But to realize the potential of these materials, we have to develop processes that allow us to uh, precisely control their size and their size distribution. Scalability allows us to move this process from the bench top to a commercial manufacturing facility which is ultimately critical to realizing the application of these devices on a larger scale. With further refinement in controlling the size and shape, we can this create a specific type of optical antenna. And this antenna can be put on a surface to create a meta surface. And this meta surface can provide a large latitude in controlling reflections, scattering, and absorption. And this will be very useful in uh, controlling light in subwavelength scale. So the discovery is important mainly because we've found an inexpensive way of making very sensitive sensors and antennas. These sensors could be adapted to be chemical sensors. They could detect biological materials. They could be used to detect magnetic fields, electric fields, electric signals, radio signals. We can improve upon the properties of existing devices and develop new classes of devices. We can improve the sensitivity and detection capability of sensors, new optoelectronics, energy saving materials, and data storage devices. Even though we use gold nanoparticle to fabricate the gold nanoparticle super crystals, the material really not much used for make a one super crystals. So essentially, overall, the cost for one super crystals is only about uh, 50 cents per super crystal. I think the most exciting part about this is that it's so cheap and easy. Um, we do this at room temperature. Um, it, it doesn't require expensive laboratory equipment. We could make one right now in just a few minutes.